Micah Frankel, CageMinds.com, RFA 18, September 12th. We're getting closer. We're 11 days away. Evan, the Matrix DeLong, his first fight out of Fit NHB. He joins us. Maddie Baghdad, his opponent. First fight with Fit NHB, Access TV on a main card. And he's telling me a huge journey across the country to come train here in Albuquerque. How are you feeling first off, though? Oh, man, I'm feeling great, you know. I'm happy to be a part of this new team, you know. And I'm happy to, to, to make leaps and bounds now, you know. I know that, I know that there's a lot... There's a lot of good things happening in my career now, and it's a bright future ahead of me. So you said you took a 32-hour bus trip from Indianapolis all the way to get down here? A uh, 32-hour bus trip from Fort Wayne to Albuquerque, all the way to here, so, yeah, <laughs> pretty boring, but... What did you do for 32 hours? Well, I tried to sleep, but it was a Greyhound bus. We, we made a lot of stops at different places, you know. It was supposed to be all together like 22 hours, but, you know, the layovers and everything added to it. It was just, and then dealing with all the people on the bus. I mean, it was, it was uh, pretty crazy, you know, but I, I survived it. And, you know, here we are. And you jump on a bus, move thousands of miles across the country, come out here to train, but you already said you kind of had a pre-existing relationship with the gym, so you want to tell everybody about that? Yeah, I, uh, my uh, coach uh, back in Indiana, uh, David McKinnis, he uh, would take me out here during the summer to go train at Power MMA with Ryan Bader, Stevie Dalloway, uh, Simpson, that gym, and uh, Coach Vaughn was the coach there. And that's where I first got to meet him and got to know him uh, two summers ago. And then the, the second, so last summer when I came, he would as well. I got to know him more. And then at the end of me leaving, he wanted me to be part of this team. And uh, a year later, I finally made the sacrifice to come out here and, and do it, make it happen. Leaving your family, leaving what you know, leaving a lot of green surroundings probably for this desert. How hard was it making that final choice to jump on the bus, come on out here, and start this big journey? It was really hard. You know, it was like, uh, it was really emotional. You know, it was like, because uh, we, we, my family, we all made it. We, we, we made it down. We put it down that, you know, we're going to make it it's, until I make it. You know, let's do this. You know, we're going to make this happen. You know, so let's do this. And so we... I sacrificed all that time, and it was just a really emotional getting on the bus, and hugging everybody, you know, and uh, saying good, my goodbyes, and you know, just you. Since me moving out here, I just feel more alive. You know, every day is like it's like an opportunity to get better. It's something, you know, I miss my family every day. I use that pain for just strength and just for everyday training. I use it for my strength, you know, and it's just. Every day has been a good, good day for me, you know what I mean? So it's just... So you've been out here for a couple weeks now, right? Uh, about a month and a half about, so far. So. About a month and a half. So how are you feeling that the work's going here in the gym, being part of the team? How's that going for you? Oh, uh, man. Uh, since I've came here, I've made a lot of improvements, huge improvements. I've been going to all the classes during the day. I've been training with the uh, world champ, Arlene Sanchez, and... Uh, train with Tom Vaughn every day, you know, and just going to train with me, just everybody, you know, I train with all the people like JJ, uh, John Judy, uh, my wrestling coach, and just, I've been picking up so much stuff from everybody, and I'm just feeling confident for this fight, you know, I feel really good, and uh, I'm ready to make things happen. Was there any adjustment period for you? You came to from one gym that had a certain way they ran stuff, did stuff. You were used to a certain, you know, routine for yourself. What was it like coming here and switching that up and learning the ins and outs of a new gym and a new system? Uh, the gym that I was from, it was a huge submission gym. It was uh, Lee Brothers Submission Academy, which was uh, my uh, jiu-jitsu instructor. It was uh, Brandon Lee, purple belt under ring. Lee, and uh, he's by way under uh, Braulio, uh, Braulio Corral, who was under uh, Marcelo Montiero from Indianapolis, and um, it's 
just I, it's, it's a lot it's a lot different from there to here you know we had a lot of gi practices we had no gi you know just working submissions little things all the technical submissions and stuff like that and then coming out here and switching to just you know like we do submissions all the time too you know grappling all the time but we do a lot of striking a lot more focus on a lot more striking and that's what I need to to, to fight this this uh, world class striker Manny Baghdad so. Medi Baghdad, world champion in Muay Thai, 9-3, a bunch of knockouts to his record, like you said, coming from the jiu-jitsu gym, and 10 of 13 wins by submission. Is that what this fight is, striker versus grappler? Um, I don't, I, you know, a lot of people see it that way. I see it like, to me, this is, because I, I see myself good at all different spots, you know, I've been, I've been doing this since I was 16, you know, and, and 27 now, I've been doing MMA since I was 16, so I've been, I've been doing it all, you know, and, uh, you know, I don't have that credentials like he does, but I, I'll find a way, you know, I'll find a way to figure out Manny Baghdad, that's one thing I know, is that I, I can, I can adapt to the situations a lot, I've realized, if you see my wrestling fights on, online, then you can see that I figured out ways, you know, me going against an IU wrestler, I figured a way to, to like, to get him and to beat him, you know, it's just the same thing that a lot of my other opponents, I just adapt to the positions and stuff, and, and I'm pretty sure that uh, I'm going to find a way, I will find a way to, to beat Manny Baghdad. So, RFA, the big event, the Access TV Spotlight, how do you feel that you'll be able to take advantage of the stage? Just, just go out there and do my thing, you know, just do what I've been doing, you know, just, uh, I, I can't think of it like, you know, just spotlighting everything because, I mean, th I've been waiting for this moment for a long time, I've been waiting to, to get noticed like this for a very long time, and finally this time has come, and, and I, I look at it like, okay, I, I can take it like, oh my god, I gotta get ready for this, I have to, you know, or I can take it like, this is another fight to me, and this is another fight. Yeah, Manny's a tough ass dude, but this is just another fight, and, you know, we're gonna learn so much from this. So far, this is the journey, and I'm learning so much from, from the sacrifices that I made, and I think that's what I needed. It was a huge sacrifice to this, to, 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 real, to make me realize how much I wanted. Talking about the journey, what's the journey for you like when it gets down to fight week? How do you change? How do you come into focus, getting ready for that night? Um, I just just try to relax. I try to stay calm. Um, I try to be more aware. Like uh, my coach back at home, he. he uh, He's a Buddhist. He's, he's helped me as my strength conditioning coach. He's helped me so much mentally. Helped me get ready for fights before the fights and stuff like that. And uh, he's he's uh, that few times I would go into the cage my past fights and I would just stare at the guy like tunnel vision. And that's all I see is tunnel vision right at my fighter. And I usually just try to go into my fighter. And that's uh, for this opponent right now. That's not something you want to do. And. Um, for this, for this fight, what well, he's taught me in my past fights is to like be aware of my surroundings, be aware of like seeing out more than just in. And um, my last fight, I fought JJ Davis in South Bend, Indiana, and, and I took him out within a two minutes and thirty seconds. And he was an amazing wrestler and uh, striker, and and uh, I it was me being more aware and seeing different openings and seeing different spots in the in the fight. And I think that's what's gonna happen is I gotta be. I gotta see more openings. I gotta be more aware of my surroundings. That's about it. So what if I said, what's one thing you have to get done in the fight to assure that you're coming out victorious? Pressure. Constant pressure. I have to keep... And he, he knows that. You know, and, uh, be, be aware of what he's got, but as well, be confident. Confidence is a huge thing that I had to have going into this fight. You know, it's, uh, it's just how everybody says it, you know, world champ, you know, it's, it, from me to him, this is confidence, this is the confident factor. I had to go in there knowing that I can beat this guy, and right now, I, and to the fight, I know I can beat Manny Baghdad, and I'm going to show everybody 
on September 12th. So for the fans watching, how would you describe your fighting style and your fighting kind of motto or uh, kind of, you know what I mean? Unconventional. Um, yeah, just very unconventional. I, well, that's what my coach has always been saying. Um, Marlene's always like, I don't, your, your style is very different, you know, and it's just, I just, I go with that. Evan DeLong, RFA18, got a message for the fans and tell them how they could uh, follow you on social media. Uh, follow me on Twitter at GotMatrix, got, uh, got and uh, or follow me on Facebook or add me on Facebook at Evan Andrew DeLong. And then who do you need to thank? I want to thank my family uh, for always supporting me. Uh, Mom, I love you, Mom. I love you, Dad. I love you, Clayton, all my brothers, sisters, you know. Always thinking about you guys every day. Uh, to thank Coach Vaughn and uh, the rest of Phoenix HB for giving me the opportunity to be a part of the family. And um, I want to share everybody on September 12th what I'm about. And along, thank you for the time. September 12th, Albuquerque, New Mexico, uh, the Albuquerque Convention Center, Access TV if you can't be here live. We'll see you then. Thank you.